All right, good morning, kindergarten. How are you today? We're gonna to start off this morning, this morning with a turkey story called The Amazing Turkey Rescue. I think you're gonna like this one, The Amazing Turkey Rescue. It's pretty cute, okay? It is pretty cute. Here we go, we'll move this over. Our friends that aren't at school today can see what we're reading about. How's that sound? Okay, here's the title page. T says the title one more time, The Amazing Turkey Rescue. It had been a great year for Ole, Cassie, and Wing. They'd escaped from becoming turkey dinner on the farm and were enjoying life on the loose. Did they get eaten last year for Thanksgiving? No, no they are on the loose. During the winter, they skied on Mount Baldly. In the spring, they played baseball with the turkey legs. <laughs> When summer arrived, they hung three in Hawaii. I can like cool dudes, surfer dudes. I can Let's get over. Now it was autumn again, just a few days before Thanksgiving. While the turkeys were busy jumping into a pile of leaves, a crow dropped a note on Cassie's hat. Read this, she squawked as she flew away. Oh no, Wing shouted. It's the sheriff. He must have heard we escaped, and now he's coming to throw us in jail. What does it say? Ole asked. It's not from the sheriff. It's from Pete the Chicken, Cassie said as she read the note. <coughs> Who's this Pete the Chicken wants? Wait a minute, Wing yelled. What if Farmer Joe catches us? Remember last Thanksgiving? I don't want him to get eaten. Oh, did I skip a page? Oh, I forgot to read you the note. Let's read what the note says. It says, Dear Ole, Cassie, and Wing, Hey, help! There's a fox prowling around the chicken coop. You were smart enough to escape once, and now we really need you. Your pal, Pete the chicken. Ooh, a fox in the chicken coop. Wait a minute, Wing yelled. What if Farmer Joe catches us? Remember last Thanksgiving? I don't want to get eaten. Wing makes a good point, Ole said, nodding. Cassie jumped up and down. Don't you understand? She said, our friends are in danger. We've got to do something. You're right, Wing said, let's go. They skipped, they ran, they gobbled, and finally they arrived at the wooden fence surrounding the farm. Let's see what happens, I don't know. Hey, there's Pete the chicken, Oli cried out. Psst, psst, Pete. Pete raced over. You sure got here fast? Now put on, on these so Farmer Joe won't spot you, he said. We'll meet you behind the chicken coop in a few minutes, Cassie added. When Pete left, Ole jumped on top of Cassie, who jumped on top of Wing. After a few clumsy attempts, they put on Farmer Joe's clothing. Wing wobbled over to Farmer Joe's entrance. Looks a little cray cray, doesn't it? Yeah. Howdy, a friendly voice called out. You must be one of the new workers. Ole said nothing. My name's Hank, the farmhand. What's yours? Again, silence. Say something, whispered Cassie. Gabble, Ole finally said. Gabby, Hank said. For someone named Gabby, you don't talk too much. What kind of work do you do? Gobble, Ole repeated. You cobble, Hank said, scratching his head. Oh, you're a cobbler. Well, we don't have many shoes that need fixing around here, but there must be some other kind of work you can do. I'll tell Farmer Kate that you're here. A cobbler is somebody who fixes shoes, and so he thought that the, that the turkeys were cobblers. So they said, cobble. As soon as Hank left, the three turkeys shed Farmer Joe's clothing and raced to the back of the chicken coop. There, waiting for them, was Pete the chicken. The fox is about to pounce, Pete warned. You've got to move fast. Mm. What do you suppose their plan will be? I don't know. No, I don't either. Let's find out. I've got it, yelled Cassie. Here's the plan. She whispered her idea to Ole and Wing. Okay, let's go. Just as the fox was about to enter the chicken coop, Ole called out, Wait! Don't take another step. The fox stopped and turned around. Why not? He asked. Mm, what do you suppose he said? 
Look at his color, Cassie said. It's like a beautiful sunset. And those strong muscles, Wing added. He'd be perfect. Perfect for what? The fox angrily asked. Who are you anyway? We're Mick, Mackie, and Moe from the famous Hollywood producers, Cassie replied. Are they really Mick, Mackie, and Moe? No. You might be perfect to star in our next movie, Wing added. It's called The Mighty Fox. Do you really think I could be a movie star, the fox asked? The turkeys huddled together. We're not sure, Cassie said. Let's see your teeth. The fox opened his jaws wide. They're really uh, pretty sharp, she said. Now let's check out his coordination, Oli announced. How fast can you spin? The fox twirled around and around and around and around until he began to stagger. Sometimes when you spin around fast, it makes you dizzy, honey. You can't walk right. It kind of feels like the building is about it to does, and that's what I happened to peel. yeah, that's what happened to the fox. Yeah, and it made it peel. One more thing, we wing said. Let's see how angry you can get. Cassie and Oli found a piece of rope and tied up the fox. He snarled and grunted and howled. Oh, he sounded like a wolf. Is that angry enough? The fox asked. Yep, that's pretty angry. Cassie said, and now you're going to be very angry. Why? asked the fox. Because you're trapped, Oli shouted. Did they catch the fox? Yes. Yeah, what'd they do to him? Rope. They Rope. tied him all up, didn't they? And he didn't even know he was getting tied up. He's, they tricked him. The fox screamed so loudly that everyone on the farm heard. Hey! exclaimed Farmer Kate. The turkeys who escaped last year are back. And look, said Farmer Joe, they saved the chickens from a fox. They're heroes. Hooray for the turkeys, Farmer Kate and Farmer Joe cried. You're welcome to live on the farm as long as you'd like. A special reward. As a special reward, the three turkeys were invited to join Farmer Joe and Farmer Kate's Thanksgiving feast, where they all ate pizza. Pizza. Why didn't they eat turkey? Because they saved. They the saved. Farm. Yeah, they saved the, the turkeys, saved the chickens from the fox. So, Farmer. Mm -hmm. Joe and Farmer Kate didn't want to eat them. So they lucked out. They were safe again, weren't they? Mm -hmm. All right. That's today's story. I hope you enjoyed it.